What's up, Geeks 4 x 4 Two disclaimers before this video gets started. One, this is old. You guys can tell by the footage. It's in two different garages. We did lift this van, I think, about two years ago. And two, uh, there's a story behind that, and we will uh, get to that right at the end. Let's get right to the video. What's up, Geeks 4 x 4 Welcome to the channel today. Today, we're in front of the Astro again. You guys saw the first one, and uh, as you can tell, the lift is installed. We're going to go around and show you guys the lift. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more cool content. Let's get right to the video. you can see it's got a lot higher stance than it did before there was like a three or four inch plastic piece under the bumper that was bolted on that we unbolted so the only thing that hangs down now is the license plate and what that did is give us a better approach angle you can still see the frame is down there so unfortunately with this kind of lift you don't get the frame out of the way uh, but we get the body up and out of the way and there's a lot more ground clearance so let's go on to the back and we'll show you guys what we did there so on the back, like I said, this had the original one-piece fiberglass spring because it's a 1990. We decided that that uh, wasn't going to do much for off-road. You get those to flex in and you might break one. We want to deal with that. So same size tire on the back, 30 by 95 by 15. And then Journey's off-road front mount. And we'll show you guys that and we'll show you the uh, new spring. We actually did Rancho shocks as well because the shocks were destroyed and we got those part numbers off of the Journeys Off-Road uh, link. So anyway, let's show you guys this front mount here. Um, it actually replaces the whole uh, original mount. And for the U-bolts on the axle, they said that we might need to do something different. And we actually used the original U-bolt setup from the fiberglass ones and it tightened right down on these springs. So we'll show you guys that as well. All right, so this is the Journeys Off-Road mount. It mounts right into the original frame rail. If you can see in the light there, it has two bolts and the original mount mounts right there. And so Journey sells this kit. And if you're changing from fiberglass to steel springs, like we did, you are going to need this. So uh, buy this kit from him. So on the axle, you can see that this is the original mount for the fiberglass springs, original U-bolt and everything. So uh, it mounted right up. No movement or anything like that. In the back here, we've got the metal springs, obviously, and then we've got the Journeys Off-Road extended shackles. And they just mount in the factory location up there. And, uh, you know, went on. We actually put them one hole down. I think we're gonna lower it. Um, I think these actually allow for five inches of lift. And we only ended up getting two or three out of the front. So we're gonna try and get this thing sitting a little bit more level. We wanted it to settle a little bit, so we drove it with it. Um, stink bugged a little bit and so we're going to uh, try and level this thing out and get it looking cool. So we, uh, as you guys have seen in footage here, we had to replace the front diff. And unfortunately when we bought this, we didn't realize that the rear pinion seal and main bearing on the pinion of that original diff was shot. And so that main input shaft was just flopping in the diff. So we had a two wheel drive, all wheel drive Astro for the first little while. Um, and we figured that out. Luckily, Easy's auto wrecking here in Wenatchee had a S10, front diff we have 373 gears and so we had to get a 373 gear matched front diff and put that in it's flawless uh, it's been working great he's headed up in the snow and says it's just traction is crazy so 
Really cool little feature of these Astro Vans is that you can get them all-wheel drive and they're fully locked in. So, pretty cool. All right, the second van video finally done. I know I've been kind of teasing that for a couple of years. Uh, we did lift that, I think, a year and a half, two years ago now. Um, and uh, he's been running around with that thing. It's uh, running really good, and the lift works out really well. So he actually, the owner, um, broke a bunch of bones in his leg skiing that first year after we did it. And so he wasn't able to come over and continue with the footage and to continue putting things together. And so he had a super long rehab process. And uh, luckily he's back about 100% now. And uh, so he was able to come over and finish up some stuff on that van and we were able to put the rest of this video together for you. We will have more soon, hopefully. Um, we're still working on some other things on the van. We'll be getting back to uh, Blue Bob very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, help support the build. Uh, I've got a gas tank sitting in here that I gotta show you guys. I'm gonna start building a bumper. I've got shackle reverse kit coming. I've slowly been saving money up to buy parts. You know this is the budget channel and uh, I'm on a budget too. So uh, sometimes things take longer. But anyway, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you do not miss out on any new things we have. And we will see you guys next time.